Awareness under anaesthesia is traumatic uh, for a variety of reasons. The reason that most people imagine and think of, first of all, is the extreme pain that a person would be having to endure, almost like torture. Uh, if you can possibly imagine the idea of somebody with a scalpel inside you, and you're completely aware of that and completely aware of the full pain, but there's nothing you can do about it. But what doesn't often occur to people, and in my experience is probably one of the most common causes of psychological trauma, is actually being aware that you can't move. So it's the paralysis which often creates the most severe psychological problems. Um, and the, the problem there is that patients just are unable to communicate. They are completely isolated and there is nothing that they can do about it. And in many cases, the patient has no idea that this can happen if you become wakeful during an operation, even despite recent publicity and so on. People are still unaware that they may be given para paralyzing drugs uh, during an operation. So the consequence is that when they become wakeful, they don't understand why they can't move. And they may come up with all sorts of catastrophic uh, but erroneous ideas as to why they're in this situation. And the most catastrophic of all is the idea that they might remain in that situation for the rest of their lives. And in my experience, that's one of the most common reasons for psychological trauma or traumatization is because people at that moment during the operation think that they're going to be paralyzed for the rest of their lives.